Hi, I'm Dr. Sandy Billinger. I'm a physical therapist and assistant professor in the Department of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Science at KU Medical Center. Today I'd like to share with you how to conduct the TBRS, Total Body Recumbent Stepper, Submaximal Exercise Test using the new step T5XR. We've received numerous requests on how to conduct the submaximal exercise test, but really have only had the opportunity to demonstrate it with our Doctor of Physical Therapy students and colleagues at KU Medical Center. We thought the best way to share with everyone is to create a video and post it so that way anyone can watch. Today we will demonstrate how to set up the exercise test, conduct the submaximal exercise test, and then use the VO2 peak prediction equation. This prediction equation will allow you to estimate your patient's VO2 peak, which is a measure of cardiorespiratory or aerobic fitness. This submaximal exercise test can be used as a pre-post intervention test to see whether or not your patient has improved. To begin using the new step, push the quick start button. Immediately this welcome screen appears. After a few seconds, this main screen appears, and you can begin using the new step. For the submax test, push Change Program. Using the down arrow, scroll through the menu until you reach Constant Power. Push Enter. This screen will show either METS and WATTS. To highlight watts, because we're going to use it, push the down arrow and then hit enter. You will see that it comes up to 60 watts. Our protocol starts at 30, so using the down arrow, push down until you reach 30 watts and then push enter. The submax test does not come close to lasting 40 minutes, so I just scroll through this. Now we come to age. Depending on the participant's age, either use the up or down arrow to reach the desired age and then push enter. Because we want the participant to at least try to reach 85 percent of their age predicted heart rate max, you can use the up arrow until you reach that 85 percent and then push enter. Now we see weight. Using the up or down arrow to you get to the desired weight and then push enter. You go back to this main menu and now you're ready to begin. Instruct the participant to try to reach 90 steps per minute. However, because we're using constant power, the individual can find a step rate that's comfortable for them. The most important part of the, the exercise test is that they keep a constant step rate. Once the participant has gone through one minute, we're going to start looking at assessing heart rate for minute two and minute three of this stage. At about 15 seconds before the end of this minute, we're going to start watching the heart rate. And then we're going to record that right around two minutes. Once again, a little before the end of this first stage, we want to look at the heart rate and make sure that's within five beats of the prior minute. If it is, they get to advance to the next stage. So here, this individual's heart rate tell, shows that they're going to be in the, in the stage where we're going to advance to 50 watts. So we use the up arrow and change it to 50 watts. We would have recorded the heart rate a little before minute five. And again, we're going to look at that right before the sixth minute to make sure they're within five beats of each other. If they are, they get to move to the next stage. If not, they need to repeat that stage, or that minute, excuse me. So using the up arrow, we are now going to go to 75 watts, instructing them to keep that, con that step rate constant
So right before minute eight, again, looking at the heart rate at 75 watts, we see what their heart rate is, and we're going to record that on our data sheet. As we approach minute nine, again, we're going to check that heart rate. And again, if it's within five beats of the prior minute, they get to move to the next stage. Otherwise, they need to repeat it. This individual is within the allotted time period, so we're going to increase that workload. And we're going to go to 100 watts. So you can see that we use the up arrow to get to the desired range. And here, again, just watch and make sure they get a nice little um, encouragement on the new step. So here we are right before the 11th minute, so we're going to record heart rate again. And then again, right before the end of the, the protocol, we're going to look to make sure it's within five beats. If it is, at that 12th minute, we're going to use the down arrow so that they can cool down. You can select whatever workload is comfortable or appropriate for your participant and let them step at a rate that's comfortable for them. The goal is to bring the heart rate down. And that concludes the New Step Submax exercise test. Everyone begins the submax exercise test at 30 watts for stage 1. As demonstrated in the video, the heart rate response at the end of stage 1 will determine the subsequent workloads for stages 2, 3, and 4. For example, if somebody's heart rate response at the end of stage 1 is less than 80 beats per minute, stage 2 would be 125 watts, stage 3 would be 150, and stage 4 would be 175. In this case, if somebody's heart rate response is between 80 and 90, stage 2 would be 100, and 100 watts and so forth. Heart rate response at 90 to 100 beats per minute at the end of stage 1, the workload at stage 2 would be 75 watts. And here we have, if the heart rate response is greater than 100 at the end of stage 1, the workload would then start at 50. Here is the completed exercise test for the individual in the demonstration. Once you've completed the submaximal exercise test, you can transfer the data from a, the data sheet into an Excel spreadsheet. This individual was 26 years of age. You need to add in either a zero for female or one male. This individual was male, so we'll enter a one. Then enter their weight in kilograms. Next, add in the heart rate that was the last one recorded. For this individual, it was 145. Then last, you add in the watts. Whatever the workload was, or the watts at the end of the submax test, you need to add that in. In this case, it was 100. We come up with an estimated VO2 peak of 37.7 milliliters per kilogram per minute.